Good morning. Today we're going to look at my conversion project. I'm converting my sedan car to a camping cargo hauling, efficient hauling car. Um, of course I have a 2017 Ford Fusion. Don't need five passenger seating. I need two adults and one dog. First thing I did was remove the, the seat. Know that you can't put anything on that package tray because that's how the battery breathes. With that seat removed, you have exposed metal floor, so I just stuffed it with uh, uh, energy absorbing mats. Here's the caddy I built. The caddy's going to anchor into the car where the seat belt and uh, child seat uh, straps anchor. That's the drawer there where the refrigerator is going to go. Okay, we're going to start with the trunk. The trunk is officially 8.2 square cubic foot. Uh, not very big trunk. That center thing is where the battery is. The tent was loosely packed coming from off our last trip. It was wet. I hung it up at the house there to dry out and just rolled it up very loosely. Being lazy here and just thought I'd st try stuffing into the trunk without, you know, folding up any tighter. Yeah, it's not going to work. There's the liner in black the tent in gray. Uh, both are loosely rolled up, packed. That's why they didn't fit in there. Uh, I decided to start with the chairs first. The chairs crisscrossed here. They are oversized for this car, but they are comfortable. Um, there's plenty of space up there on top, so I'm just kind of reverse thinking. The chair's going to go on top, nested into that space. Put the liner on one side, the tent on the other side. I think I can get that liner a little bit smaller next time. And here's the final answer. The rake will be on top, first thing out to prepare the, the tent site, then the chairs, and then the tents underneath, the poles, the stakes, the liners. The trunk closed good. Here's the caddy I built installed in the car. Again, that's installed with zip ties. That framing is just that angle iron with holes in it, zip tied with heavy duty zip ties to the to all the child anchoring points where you anchor child seats or the seat belts and then uh, you put bungee cords with the metal ends and bungee nets either way I got plenty of anchoring points infinite anchoring points for gear along that back wall or above the refrigerator there this is Phoenix bed that folds up and you can you get storage underneath there there it is with the gear in there. That orange box is where the AC is going to go when I get it. Now we're going to test the boss out. See how the boss likes the new setup. Uh, the bed lines up with, her, with the door right in front of the air conditioner, right behind mom. I can see her easily from my spot. This bed's the same size as she sleeps in her kennel every night. We always leave the door open and she loves that, that size. She leans up against the wall and she has room to stretch out. The passenger seat, in the past, the passenger seat was all the way up to the front while Ann had no room or knees were up against the, the glove box. Now the seat's in normal position, right in line with mine. And there we are, looking out the back mirror. Alright, driver's side. This is where the kitchen stuff will go. We'll, we'll operate the kitchen out of the this door here. Refrigerator there in that box. It's on a drawer. Um, so you can pull it out. It's one of them soft clothes and you can open the refrigerator up. It runs off 12 volt off that center console. I can uh, stop the grocery store on our road trips and put stuff in, take stuff out without interrupting any of that cargo above it. Even lots of airspace left above the, the boxes. Here I am looking out the back window. Again, plenty of room. Visibility. Sure appreciate you watching. Thanks. Enjoy your day.